Hello there, friends. It's Ashley here from the Loopy Lamb and the LoopyLamb.com. And today I am going to be showing you how to make this adorable mini crochet teddy bear. Now, this is one of the uh, patterns for our Amigurumi Advent Calendar Crochet Along. And um, I just really, really love this little guy. Now, if you already have your boxes, done and you're using the boxes, the box sizes that I recommended, I will let you know that you might have to just kind of bend his ears down a little bit when you're putting him in the box, but he's so cute. It's totally worth it. So uh, let's go over the materials that we're going to need in order to make this little guy. So you're going to need worsted weight yarn in two different colors. I'm using uh, my Bravo worsted weight yarn from We Crochet and the colors I have here today are Sienna, I think. Yeah, brindle and almond. You're also going to need a three and a half millimeter or E crochet hook. I'm using my furls odyssey here in red. You'll need a tapestry needle, a couple of stitch markers, a pair of scissors, some black embroidery thread, some stuffing and two nine millimeter safety eyes. So if you're ready to get started, let's clear this away and let's get started working on our mini crochet teddy bear. To start our bear, we're going to need the darker of our two colors and your crochet hook. And we're going to start by creating the legs of our bear. So to start with leg one, we're going to uh, create a magic circle or an adjustable ring. And if you need to see this done slower, we do have the full tutorial on how to do the magic circle here on the channel. So now that we have our magic circle, we are going to work six single crochets into this circle. So we're going to insert our hook into the magic circle, pick up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. And that's your first single crochet. And we're going to do that five more times. Now that I have six single crochets, I'm going to pull that circle tight. And I'm ready to start with round two. If you don't already have your stitch marker handy, you're going to want to bring that closer to where you're working because we're going to be needing that in just a moment. So for round two of leg one, we're going to uh, single crochet increase into the first stitch. So a single crochet increase is two single crochets in the same stitch. So just going to get my hook will cooperate with me here. We're going to do the first stitch. So here we go. We've got our first single crochet into that first stitch. We're going to use our stitch marker to mark that first stitch. And then we're going to single crochet again into that same stitch that we just worked into. So that's your single crochet increase. And then we're going to single crochet once into each of the next two stitches. So here's our first single crochet and here's our second. And now we're going to repeat that pattern. We're going to do a single crochet increase into the next stitch. So again, that's two single crochets working into the same stitch and then one single crochet into each of the remaining two stitches. At the end of this round, you should have eight single crochets. Now for rounds three through five, you're going to just place one single crochet into each stitch around. Remember after you, that you work your first single crochet stitch, you're going to move your stitch marker up to continue to mark that first stitch of the round. So if you'd like to pause your video and do th uh, rounds three, four, and five by doing one single crochet into each stitch around, I'll meet you back here when we're ready to continue on to the next step of our legs. So I just finished my last stitch of round five of leg one. So at this point, I'm going to cut my yarn and finish off. So you don't need a, a long tail here, just a few inches is good. I try to leave at least four to five inches here. And then I'm just gonna pull that yarn all the way through the last stitch. And then I'm gonna set that leg aside. And for leg two, we're going to need to repeat the instructions we just did for leg one. So if you'd like to pause your video and follow the instructions I gave you for rounds one through five of leg one, then do not finish off at the end of round five 
for your second leg, we're going to continue on to the body. So if you'd like to pause your video and rewatch leg one, I'll meet you back here when we're ready to start the body. So I just finished my last stitch of round five for leg two. And as I'd uh, previously said, we're not going to be finishing off at this point. We're going to continue to work into the body and the head of our bear. And so now we're going to be working at joining our legs. So we're on round six of our bear. And to start, we're going to do a chain two. So yarn over and pull through the first loop and yarn over and pull through again. And there's your chain two. And then we're going to single crochet into the first stitch of the last round of leg five of leg one, sorry. So I'm just gonna move my stitch marker out of the way. And we're just gonna single crochet into that first stitch of the first leg there. And now we're going to do seven more single crochets around the top of leg one. So essentially you're just, you should only have seven more stitches remaining in that leg. So you're just gonna crochet around the top of leg one. Sorry, that the tails tend to get to be a little troublesome at this point. So just bear with me here. So there's our seventh single crochet. And now we're going to single crochet into each of those chains that we created at the beginning of this round. So if it's easier for you to turn them over so you can see where you're going to be working, go, please feel free to do that as I find that helpful as well. Sorry, I'm trying to manage it so you can hopefully see what I'm doing, but also keep these tails out of the way. So. All right, we're gonna, here's our first single crochet into that first chain and then single crochet into the second chain. Okay, we've got our stitches now. And now we're going to single crochet into each stitch around leg two. Again, we're just working our way all the way around. So I've done my eighth single crochet around the top of leg two there. And now we're going to place our stitch marker into the first chain that we created for this round. And that's going to be our first stitch moving forward. And now those two chains will count as stitches on this side and you've already worked stitches on the other side. So our total stitch count for this round should be 20 single crochets. So take a moment here and double check your count because it's really easy to pick up or drop stitches in that round. So if you'd like to pause your video and double check that make sure you've got 20 single crochet stitches, I'll be uh, meet you back here. But if not, we're ready to start with round seven of the legs. So for round seven, we're just going to place one single crochet into each stitch and chain around. So we're going to pull that stitch marker out of the first chain and we're going to single crochet into the first and second chain that we did from last round. And we're gonna move that stitch marker up to mark our first stitch there. And there's our chains worked. And now we're just going to work one single crochet into each stitch around. So if you'd like to pause your video and meet me back here when you're ready for rounds eight and nine, I will finish this up and I'll meet you back here for that. So I just finished my last stitch of round seven and I'm ready to move on to rounds eight and nine. And for rounds eight and nine, we're just gonna place one single crochet into each stitch around. So again, if you'd like to pause your video, meet me back here when you're ready to start with round 10. So I just finished with rounds eight and nine, and 
at this point, I'm just going to take a moment to add some stuffing to the bear's legs because it will continue to get harder to stuff these as we work, especially since the legs are so little. So I'm just going to take that moment here to stuff his legs. As we continue to work past this point, I recommend that you take a moment every once in a while and continue to add stuffing as you work. So that way you have firm, consistent stuffing throughout your toy. If at this point you're finding that it's tricky to get the stuffing down into the um, tips of the bear's legs, you can use a pair of scissors. I've seen people use like chopsticks or um, if you buy the uh, polyfill brand stuffing, they often have what they call it a stuffing tool, which is essentially just a, a stick, anything like that. I really like scissors. I like to live dangerously. <laughs> But now I've got uh, some firm stuffing here in my leg and I'm ready to move on to round 10. To start round 10, we're going to place one single crochet into the first stitch. Remembering to move up that stitch marker. And then we're going to do a single crochet decrease. And as we've been doing for all of our amigurumi patterns so far in the crochet along, we will be using a invis uh, an invisible decrease. And to do that, we're going to insert our hook under the front loop of the first stitch. And then we're going to kind of twist our hook and pick up the front loop of the second stitch. Then we're going to yarn over and pull through both loops. Then we're going to yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. And that's your invisible decrease completed. And now we're going to single crochet once into each of the next eight stitches. That's my eighth single crochet. And now we're going to do another single crochet decrease. Again, we're working into the front loops of the first and second stitch, yarning over and then yarning over again. And now we're going to single crochet once into each of the remaining seven stitches. All right. And now at the end of round 10, you should have 18 single crochets. Now for round 11, we're going to single crochet once into each of the first five stitches. Now we will do an invisible decrease. So we're going to insert under the front loops of the next two stitches, yarn over, pull up a loop, and yarn over and pull through two. Now we'll single crochet into each of the next seven stitches. Now we'll do a decrease. And then we'll single crochet into each of the last two stitches. At the end of round 11, you should have 16 stitches. For round 12, we're just going to place one single crochet into each stitch around. So if you'd like to pause your video and do one round of one single crochet in each stitch round, I'll meet you back here when you're ready to start round 13. This might also be a good time to take a moment to add a little bit of stuffing to your bear. 
And now that we are ready to start with round 13, we are going to place one single crochet into each of the first three stitches. And there is our third single crochet. And now we will do a single crochet decrease. Again, that's we're doing that invisible decrease. Now we'll do one single crochet into each of the next six stitches. And now we will do a single crochet decrease. And then we will single crochet into each of the remaining three stitches. At the end of this round, you should have 14 stitches. To start with round 14, we're going to place a single crochet into the first stitch. Followed by a single crochet decrease. Now we will single crochet into each of the next five stitches. So one single crochet into each of the next five stitches. Followed by a decrease. So again, that invisible single crochet decrease. And we'll single crochet once into each of the remaining four stitches. At the end of round 14, you should have 12 stitches. And now we're getting ready for round 15 and we're going to start increasing now to start creating the head of our bear. So we're going to start by placing one single crochet into the first stitch. Followed by a single crochet increase into the next. And again, that's two single crochets into the same stitch. And we're going to repeat that pattern five more times. So one single crochet in the next stitch, followed by two single crochets into the next stitch. At the end of this round, you should have 18 single crochets. The end of this round, it would also be a good idea to take a moment and add some more stuffing to your bear. And now that we're ready to start round 16, we will do that by placing one single crochet into the first stitch. And we'll do a single crochet increase into the next stitch. We will place one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. Followed by a single crochet increase into the next. I'm going to do one single crochet into each of the next two stitches, followed by an increase in the next. We're going to repeat that pattern three more times. Single crochet into the first two stitches, followed by an increased stitch in the next. When you're done those repeats, you should have one single crochet remaining on, that's been unworked and you'll place one single crochet into that stitch. And here's my last stitch. And as I said, one single crochet goes into that last stitch. At the end of this round, you should have 24 single crochets. For rounds 17 through 21, you're just going to place one single crochet into each stitch around. So if you'd like to pause your video here and meet me back here at the end of round 21, I'll show you the instructions for adding your safety eyes and our steps for closing up our bear's head. And now we are ready to start with round 22. 
Um, we're going to do that by placing one single crochet into the first stitch and doing a single crochet decrease in the next. Then we're going to do one single crochet into each of the next two stitches. Oops. See, I almost forgot to move up my stitch marker, guys. We got to remember that. All right, I think we were here. So followed by a decrease after you do those two single crochets. So what we should have so far is the one single crochet, a decrease, two singles, and another decrease. We're going to repeat that two single crochet followed by a decrease pattern four more times. So single crochet once into the first and second stitch. Then we're going to do that invisible decrease. Then we'll single crochet once into each of the next two stitches, followed by a decrease. Two single crochets, followed by a decrease. Two single crochets, followed by a decrease. And then you'll just single crochet into that last stitch. So I can tell now that I put my stitch marker in the wrong place here. I'm just gonna move that over. At the end of round 22, you should have 18 single crochets. So we're gonna take a break and we're gonna put our safety eyes into round 20. We just finished round 22, so we're gonna to have to count back to find round 20. So this is round 22, 21, and 20. And we're going to, in, I'm just gonna put this eye here for now. And we're going to have to have three stitches between our two eyes. So we've got that in that stitch. We're gonna one, two, three. And in the fourth stitch, we're going to place our eye. So there's no real right or wrong placement here, but I like to just kind of take a look at where my eyes are in relation to the legs. So that way they're not way off to the right and way off to the left. And uh, this looks like a good placement for me. So I'm gonna put those eyes onto the, or the backs onto my eyes, I should say. All right. So we've got our eyes in place and we are ready to move on to round 23. If you'd like, this is also a good time to take a moment and add some stuffing to your bear's head. For round 23, we're going to start by placing one single crochet into that first stitch. And then we're going to decrease over the next two stitches here. So we're going to go one single crochet in the next, followed by a decrease. So we're going to repeat this pattern six times total around. So one single crochet followed by a decrease. And at the end of this round, you should have 12 single crochets. So if you'd like to pause your video, meet me back here when you're ready to do round 24. I'll finish this up and I'll meet you back here. So I just finished adding some stuffing to the head of my bear and we're ready to start with round 24. I always love this part. They kind of look just like a weird peanut or an, al an alien or something. <laughs> it's all the details that make them real. So to start with round 24, we're just going to do a single crochet decrease around. So we're going to do six single crochet decreases around this round. And at the end, you should have six stitches remaining. So just take your time when you're doing this part, especially if you have really um, stuffed your bear firmly, because at this point when you're closing up, I find uh, people tend to tense up or they tend to pull because the bear or your toy is stuffed so uh, full that that's when you get those gaps in your fabric. So just take your time while you're working around to make sure that you have a nice closed fabric as much as you can. 
So I just finished my last stitch and I'm going to cut my yarn. I like to cut at least six to eight inches at this point. And then I'm going to pull that tail all the way through my last stitch. If you feel like you need to add any more stuffing to the top of your bear um, and you're able to do so through the hole there, this is a good time. Well, it's not just a good time, it's the last time. <laughs> it's the last time we're gonna be able to add any stuffing. So um, at this point, I usually need to use something like the scissors or one of those little stuffing sticks to get that last little bit in there. All right, so that looks good to me. And now we're going to need our tapestry needle or our yarn needle, and we're going to thread our yarn tail onto that needle. And we're going to thread our tail through the front loops of each stitch from the last round. So you're just going to insert your needle under the front loop. And we're just gonna pick up that front loop six times. This is called the ultimate finish, or I've also seen it called the invisible finish. But what we are essentially doing here is creating a drawstring to create a really clean close on the top of our bear. So now that we've picked up the front loops of all those stitches, we're going to pull that gently until it is tight. And if you have a little knob on the top, that's totally normal. What you should do at this point is take your needle and insert it through the center of the last round and just pick any stitch out the side or anywhere through the bear and pull the needle out through that side. And then you're going to gently pull and that will get rid of that little nub or bump at the top and you'll have a nice rounded top. So um, at this point you can uh, weave in your end here and meet me back here when you're done doing that because we're going to move on to creating the arms for our bear next. And now we are getting ready to make the arms of our bear and for these we're obviously going to need to make two. So we're going to start by creating a magic circle and we're still using the darker of the two colors for this pattern. And now we're going to work six single crochets into the magic circle. Now that we have our six single crochets, we're going to pull that circle tight. And that's the end of round one. For rounds two through seven, we're just going to work one single crochet into each stitch around. And once again, I've done that first stitch too tight. There we go. So we've got our first stitch. We're going to put that stitch marker. And then it's just one single crochet into each stitch around. Now we're not going to be stuffing these arms. So um, don't worry about your tail because that's kind of going to be a little bit of stuffing, but we're not going to add any additional stuffing to the arms. So we're just going to keep putting one single crochet into each stitch around. So if you'd like to pause your video and come back to me when you're done rounds two through seven, I'll show you how we're going to finish off our arm. So I just finished my last stitch of round seven of the arm. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut a tail. I need to have some extra tail to make sure I've got room to sew it onto my bear later. So I like to cut at least 10 inches there. And I'm just going to chain one to secure that last stitch and pull it through. Then I'm just going to take that tail and just shove it inside the arm so it doesn't become a problem later or get in the way. 
So you'll have to repeat rounds one through seven for the arm again to have two arms. So if you'd like to pause your video and do that, you can do that now. Uh, but I will show tell you the instructions for securing your arms now uh, before we move on to the ears. So now that I have um, got my tail, I will line the top of the opening of the arm up with the indent of the neck. Now, if you have some sewing pins, that's always handy. The only ones I have really close to me are these corsage pins, but they work great. And just to hold the arm in place on either side so you can get a really good placement. And it also has the added benefit of holding them in place while you're sewing. Uh, so if you'd like to pause your video, make a second arm and then secure your arms to either side of the bear, we will be moving on to making the ears next. All right, to make the ears for our bear, we are going, still using that the darker of the two colors and we're going to start again with a magic circle. And now we are going to work six single crochets into that magic circle. Now that I have those six done, I'm going to pull that ring tight and I'm ready to start on round two. For round two, we're going to place a single crochet increase into each stitch around. And so just a reminder that a single crochet increase is two singles crochets into the same stitch. So there's our first stitch. We're gonna place our stitch marker and then we're gonna do another single crochet into that same stitch. And we're going to do that in each stitch around. So place two single crochets into each stitch around. At the end of round two, you should have 12 single crochet stitches. For rounds three and four, you're going to place one single crochet into each stitch around. So if you'd like to pause your video and meet me back here when you're done doing rounds three and four in all one single crochet into each stitch around, I'll meet you back here for round five. And now we are ready to start with round five. And to do that, we're going to place one single crochet into the first stitch. followed by an invisible decrease. And just a reminder, that's picking up the front two, the front loops of the first and second stitches, yarning over and yarning over again. And then we're going to repeat that pattern four times. So that's single crochet in the first stitch, followed by a decrease. And so sorry, that's a total of four times. We're doing it now two more times. So one single crochet followed by a decrease. one single crochet followed by a decrease. At the end of round five, you should have eight stitches. Now at this point, we're going to finish off. We're not going to be stuffing our ears. We're going to flatten them. And then we're going to finish off by leaving a long tail for sewing. And so at this point, you can either pull through all the way through the stitch or yarn over and chain up one to help secure that last stitch there. And we're going to flatten the piece. Now you need to follow the instructions I just gave you for rounds one through five to make your second ear. So if you'd like to pause and do that now, you can do that. So now that I'm done my ear, I'm going to flatten the piece and then I'm going to sew them to to my head. I like to take this extra tail that I have and put it into, like sink it into the body using the yarn tail. That way just, it's in there and it's just a little added grab. But I'm going to grab a pin here. Again, these pins come in super handy for helping to hold things in place for you so you can find the right placement. And I'm just gonna pin this in place. So 
So when I'm sewing it on, I'm going to thread the tapestry needle onto the tail, and then I'm going to work directly underneath the ear. And then when I come out through the sides, I'm gonna go through both sides of the fabric and I'm going to through the tops of the stitches. So that way the tops of the stitches are sewn flat to the top of the ear there, or the top of the head. So um, if you haven't already done so, pause your video, make your other ear, and we're going to be moving on to making our muzzle next. And now we are ready to make the muzzle or nose of our bear. And we're using the lighter of our two colors for this piece. And we're going to start by making a magic circle. And then we're going to work eight single crochets into the magic circle. So there's one. All right, and there's our eight single crochets. And then we're going to tighten up that ring. And now we're ready for round two. For round two, we're gonna place a single crochet increase into that first stitch. And just remember that they increase as two single crochets into the first into the same stitch. And then we're going to single crochet once into each of the next three stitches. That's one, two, and three. And then we're going to single crochet increase into the next stitch. Now we'll single crochet in once into the last three stitches. And so now we're going to cut our yarn and finish off. We're going to need probably about 10 inches or so at minimum. So make sure that you leave plenty of room for sewing. You don't want to run out of yarn. So at this point, I do recommend that you pull all the way through this stitch here. You don't do the chain one because we're going to use our tapestry needle next to do what's called the invisible finish. So we're going to thread our yarn here onto the needle and we're going to move that stitch marker out of the way. To do the invisible finish, we're going to insert our needle from front to back through the second stitch of the round. And then we're gonna pull our tail all the way through. And then we're going to take the tip of our needle and we're going to insert it through the top of the stitch and pick up the back loop only and go from front to back of the last stitch of the round. And what this does is mimics the first stitch of the round with your yarn tail. And now if you can see like mine, it's wanting to turn inside out. So just make sure that you're turning it so the right side is facing out. Okay, there we go. And that's our muzzle. And so, at this point, you can either choose to sew this onto the face now, and as you're sewing it onto the face, you're going to add stuffing underneath. Only It's only a very small amount, um, but you're gonna add some stuffing as you're sewing. And you wanna line the top of the muzzle up with the bottoms of the eyes. Or you can take your moment now, if you, this is your preference, you can embroider the nose on now and then sew it on. So I'm gonna show you how to do the embroidery with this piece off, but um, you can do this with whatever your preference is. I usually like to do it after, 
afterwards, just because once it's sewn on, you got you get an idea of what the dimension is once the stuffing and everything is added. To do your nose, you're going to take a length of embroidery thread and hold it double. Thread one end onto the tapestry needle and then meet the ends of your embroidery thread and tie a knot. Now, if you are going to do this with the muzzle already intact, you would insert your needle through the fabric from front uh, back to front and out through the muzzle and you'd pull that knot inside the head. If you're going to do it this way, you're going to insert your needle from back to front, making sure that the right side of your muzzle is facing you. And I like to just pick one of the stitches on the side to come out of. And you're just gonna pull that through. Leave a little bit of space on the back for the next step, because you're going to pull your um, thread through that loop to help secure it. So um, don't pull this all the way tight yet. So now that we're our embroidery threads at the front, we're going to go through the stitch directly adjacent to it. And we're gonna go from front to back of the muzzle. And now, because we didn't pull that tight, I'm going to take my tapestry needle and I'm going to insert it between the two strands of the embroidery thread and then I'm going to pull it tight. You can alternatively, if you prefer, tie a knot between the two, but this is my preferred method here. And then to finish embroidering, you're just gonna go back and forth. From side to side here, creating a rectangular nose. If you have a preferred shape, over this, feel free to do that. And it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, so I've done that a couple of times and this is what my nose looks like so far. So I will go over this a few more times and I'll show you my other finished bear here. And um, I did this one with it already, the muzzle already sewn on. And you can see I've just gone over this same area back and forth over and over again until I was happy with how it looked. And then I finished it off with a knot. And then I pulled the knot inside the head here. And that's how you make our mini crochet teddy bear. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any comments or questions, I'd love to hear from you. Please leave them in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please hit that like button and please consider subscribing to this channel. Thanks so much for watching friends. And if you enjoy free crochet patterns, please don't forget to check out my blog, theloopylam.com. Thanks so much for watching. Happy hooking and I'll see you next time.